I have come to you this morning, this afternoon, this evening because of this particular program I want to do today. On this platform, I see the hot and I saw with the talk, but right now I am live only on Prince Darlington official. The reason why I'm doing this program on Prince Darlington official is because I'm having a lot of, uh, I don't know if I'm going to call it backlog on I see the hot. Our enemies are reporting that page. They are suppressing that page. They do not want that, they do not want that page to go to move forward. But yet I am not giving up on it. But today, this page is not under any suppression or any attack. But what you have to do is to share the program. This page is visible to anyone that cares to watch this program. Because there is no violation on this page. I have never violated any Facebook standard on the other pages, just that people are reporting my programs and my updates. But today, I'm going to play some voice notes and I'm going to do some critical analysis and I'm going to say things that will shock some of you based on facts and figures that are within my reach. In case you don't know. Your liking, your love emoji sent here is going to help to boost this program. I trust you can keep touching the liking button, the emoji and the love button, just as you are sharing. And I want to acknowledge my brother who is already here watching those of you who are watching, I acknowledge each and every one of you. Mazi Ales Eze, you are watching. Ebalomang, you are watching. And so many of you, Uka Fochine, do you are watching? So many of you, Ebere Chuku, is also watching. So many of you are watching. I want to acknowledge your presence. This program I'm going to do today. If you like, you can record it and keep it for recording purposes. Because looking at what is about to happen and what is happening, I want each and every one of you to go and wash your bags. Go and wash your clothes anywhere you are living in the whole world. Get ready to go back to Biafra because Biafra is here. Biafra is here because the battle that we are facing right now and the battle we are going to face in the nearest days is fight to finish and is going to be the last battle and after that Martin Nandekan will be out and Biafra will be restored. I don't say things because I want to say it. I say things because they are truth. Gano Pecha Abonu Omu Abotuku became Nekuya Remember that every freedom fighters in the world, if your name did not appear, if they have not called you a terrorist, you have not done anything yet. If global terrorists in this have not mentioned your name, sponsored by the country you are fighting to go out from, you are not doing anything yet. But I tell you, the moment your name is, is, is mentioned at the Global Terrorist Index, being a freedom fighter, know you that your freedom is already at the peak. So those of you who are residing abroad, those of you who are hungry to come back to Biafra land, because I can see my brother Alex, as I say, I am so hungry for Biafra. Those of you who are suffering 247 in abroad, those of you who are still staying, who are still, you know, suffering in prisons in different parts of the world, 
that time is closer. Go and mark today's date. Mazo Palaze Chukubi Ken Kuria on President official page. Today being 16th of March 2023. I want to let you know that the freedom for Biafra is very, 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 very nearer than ever. And I want to tell you the reason why the global terrorist index, terror index mentioned IPOB. They mentioned IPOB as the tenth as the, as the tenth most deadliest group, terrorist group in the world. <laughs> and it's laughable. The topic I'm dealing with today is not a topic for children. The topic I'm dealing with today is not a topic for, for featherweight freedom fighters. It is for heavyweight freedom fighters. Therefore, if you don't have common sense to reason with me and to see reason with every point I'm going to bring out here during my analysis, you don't have any reason to be watching this program. You better leave. I don't care if it is only 10 people that are watching this program. And that 10 people are people that have common sense of reasoning. You all are aware that terrorists, war terrorists in this have mentioned IPOB name. Giving them 10th position as the world most deadliest group, terrorist group. <laughs> And I want to tell you something. That is the exit door for Biafra restoration. You don't understand it. I will break it down for you. When Nelson Mandela was fighting for the freedom of his own people, he was fighting apartheid. The moment he was acknowledged as a terrorist, was when the freedom of the people of South Africa is being discussed in so many countries of the world. That is exactly one country that we are not interested in South African freedom from appetite, begin to get interested to know what are those terror? What is that terror that Nelson Mandela and his group have committed? There are countries that want to know the reason why you attacked a terrorist. There are world powers that will be interested to look into your case to see why you are being called a terrorist in their country where you are forcefully being put together. If you are a child in this struggle and you want to listen to this program, I want you to calm down, open your, your common sense. I mean, neutralize your mind. Don't come here with any Iota of, uh, of doubt. Just listen and learn. Because I know that if Mazen Namdekano is outside and this rubbish happened, I know exactly the right words he is going to use. I am not imitating Mazen Namdekano. I can never imitate him. But I am telling you that the man I know at every given point, any obstacle we face, I know how he is going to tackle it. And that is what I am about to do right now. And I would like us to go to Google right now. I want us to type the meaning, or should I say, the definition of the word terrorist. Please, dear friends, I want us to go and look at the meaning, the dictionary meaning of the word terrorist. You know the English you are speaking is not our language. The English you are speaking, the language you are speaking belongs to the people that are subjugating us, people that have impoverished us, people that have forcefully put us together with the people that we don't know. Those people are the ones that has this language I am speaking. Therefore, if there is anything you don't understand, asemgi, Go to your Google, bring out, let us check the meaning of terrorist. I want you to listen because they are watching. 
the global terror index organization are watching those people who have put ipob name in this particular cycle they are watching i want you to know that cia are watching i want you to know that fbi are watching i want you to know that all the world watchdogs are watching closely and this is the time for that thing that is hidden will be exposed for the world to know why did you call them terrorists what are the activities of these guys then i am going to differentiate things here because the people who are the actual terrorists are the people that i will play their voice note today and these guys we are paid to come and do the the, the dirty job they confess by themselves they say it by themselves i did not say it but these people have affiliated their names to IPOB. I mean the enemies that we are committing all this crime. And their intention was exactly what the terrorist, uh, Global Terrorist Index Organization have done. What is the meaning of terrorists? A terrorist is a person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the pursuit of political aim. A terrorist is a person who uses unlawful violence. Listen, and listen good. Who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians. I want you to underline that. Especially against civilians in the pursuit of political aim. Now I want you to answer this question. Those that call us terrorist organization, do you know that a court of competent jurisdiction, a high court of competent jurisdiction in Nigeria, have checkmated the activities of IPOB in Nigeria and declared that IPOB is legal. I am going to show you the newspaper publication of this before I move on. It was post. It was uh, publicized by authority newspaper, owned by Ifa by the authority. He said IPOB not unlawful. Court says so. Look at it here. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it? You can Google it. Like I said before, the, the topic I am tweeting today, but I don't care what will happen because the worst thing that will happen is death. And I draw mondo. Because nobody can kill me. The court of competent jurisdiction have declared that IPOB not unlawful. Do you know why? Because in over 120 countries of the world, IPOB are registered. These people, this group of people that call themselves World Terrorist Index, Global Terror Index, do they understand that IPOB is registered in the United States of America? Do they understand that IPOB was registered in United Kingdom? Do they understand that IPOB is registered in France, in Germany, in Italy, in Australia? Do they understand that we are registered even in United Arab Emirates? Are they aware that we are registered all over the world, in across 120 countries of the world? IPOB are registered there. How dare these guys come to, because of the, the, the money and the, the affiliation they have with Nigeria government. You collected money because of the oil money you are stealing from our land. You did not do your verification before you begin to attack IPOB, a terrorist group. Because Nigeria court that, de that first declared IPOB not unlawful, that later turned around. Using the Igbo governors, Obiano, 
Roger Sokorocha, Devil Mahi, um, uh, if, I, if I you go on these are the people and the OKC Bazo that they use to call their own brothers who are fighting for their own freedom terrorists. And the Global Terror Index has the effrontries to call, to call to add IPOB in World Terrorist Index and give them number 10 position. <laughs> if IPOB is a terrorist organization, why did American government, United States of America, the land of the free, why would they allow IPOB to register this organization in the United States of America? Why would United Kingdom allow IPOB to be registered as a terrorist organization? Why would France, why would Germany, why would Italy, where will Denmark, where will Fiji, where will all these countries allow IPOB to be registered if they are terrorist organizations? And do not forget that the meaning of terrorist is someone who is using unlawful method to intimidate, especially the civilians, for their political interests. Is IPOB intimidating anybody? No. Is IPOB killing anybody? No. Is IPOB fighting anybody? No. What is IPOB doing? IPOB are only fighting to defend their own land against the Fulani terrorists and asking the world to come to our aid, to give us right to vote through referendum, if we should be or shouldn't be in the country they called Nigeria, which we are not part and parcel of. If terrorists, Global Terror Index did not remove IPOB name, that is, that is to say that America is a terrorist country. That is to say that Japan is a terrorist country. That is to say that United Kingdom is a terrorist country. That is to say that France, Germany, Italy, that is to say that 140 countries of the world that allowed IPOB to be registered are also terrorist countries. Facebook permits me to pass this message and to correct this wrong impression that indigenous people of Biafra who are only fighting for the freedom of their own people has been called a terrorist. And there are countries that allow them to register their organization in their own countries. Does it mean that those countries that allow us are also terrorists? If American government can sit down and watch World Terror Index to add the name of indigenous people of Biafra that is registered in different in different states in America as terrorists as, as terrorists, that is to say that America is also a terrorist country. I am very, very upset. I know that FBI, CIA, they are watching my programs. They are taking cognizance of everything I'm saying. And I make haste to say that if America keep quiet, United Kingdom keep quiet, if, if all these countries of the world where IPOB are legally registered, having their day in, day out meeting, having their activities, coming out in the open, protesting from one country to another, Talking about our freedom. If these countries allow them to be doing all this, then who are these world terror index? Who are these global terror index? Who are they? What kind of partiality is this? Who do you think you are going to deceive with this information? I am very, very upset. I am very, very, very upset. Why will the white people... Take money from the oil coming from Biafra land to tag IPOB, the people that owns the oil, own the land, who are only fighting for their freedom, a terrorist. Why? I tell you this program, they are going to play it. I tell you they are downloading this program right now as I'm speaking. 
I tell you, the world that I'm mentioning their names, Facebook and Corinthian is going to give the signal that someone is calling, mentioning terrorists and adding their name to it. Because what I am doing today, if I say it today, today and die tomorrow, I don't care, I don't give a fuck. Because the truth must be told. Nobody has the power to tag IPOB terrorists in the world in this. Because IPOB have registered their organization in different countries and those countries are watching. Those countries have their watchdog. Their eye is on IPOB activities. They knew that we are only fighting for the freedom of our people. United Kingdom, remember that America fought you with guns and bullets to have their freedom. Remember that United America fought you to have their own freedom. And America is free today because they use guns and bullets to kick you away from their land. And today they have freedom. That is why America is called a free, uh, the land of the free. Then why would this America that fought to get their independence from the country that, we are in, that was intimidating them, that was oppressing them, keep quiet and watch him. The so-called terrorist in this whatever nonsense that their office is situated in, 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 in Australia. We call IPOB who are doing the same thing that America did to have their freedom. Call them terrorists. Who does that? I want to first and foremost explain this to the letter before I will break down the reason why they even, they even tried to mention IPOB as terrorists. Don't forget... Whenever I tell you that this IPOB leadership called the Director of State, this particular one led by Mazichi Kedosim, have received the biggest bomb, the biggest attack, the biggest gun, the biggest spiritual attack, the biggest every fabrication of lies more than any other one. Yes. Because when the previous Directorate of State were there, the kind of attack that this current Directorate of State are having now, they never had it. That is why there was nothing like calling IPOB terrorist organization then. That was just the reason. But because they brought up money, like Mohammed told you that these guys are sleeping on internet. They sleep and wake up on Facebook. That they need to get people who are their match. They need to, they, they map out 650 something thousand dollars to go out and buy people who will fight, who will come, who will commit crimes, who will do so many things so that they will target to IPOB. These guys have tried everything they can to stop this movement. They have all failed woefully. This is their last battle. And I'm using this medium to call on every IPOB member, every media warrior. The writers, the broadcasters, and those who are comment who are in the comment section to do something. Begin to debunk this lie from the pit of hell because IPOB is registered everywhere in the world. If IPOB that is registered in America is tagged as terrorist group, then the world must be living in lies and deceit. If IPOB that is registered in Australia, in Sydney, Australia, registered in, in, in so many countries of the world, then the world is living in deceit and lies. Then who is deceiving who? I am asking a question. Who is deceiving who? I am sure you guys have seen the publication, the post from Barestefa Yejofo. That man is a lion. That man, Barisifa Yejofo, is a lion. He has been fighting this battle, defending IPOB and Mazen and the Kanu, knowing fully well that we are legal. What we are doing is legit. There is no terrorist organization that can host a program, that can host a, 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 a protest before in the front of United, uh, United States of America White House building. No terrorist can do it. IPOB have mounted right in front of America a White House in Washington, D.C. Protesting with Biafra flag. 
We are indigenous people of Biafra. Give us our freedom. Indigenous people of Biafra that is being tagged as terrorists right now have gone to United Nations headquarters. Yes, in case you don't know. We have been to Brussels. In case you don't know. In the European Union headquarters, we've been there protesting and talking about our freedom. How come did you look deeply in, from... In, 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 I don't understand the language I'm going to use. How come did these people... What kind of world are we living in? Is there no justice anymore? Are there no people of good conscience anymore? That people who went to United Nations, went to America to pro protest openly, we were not masked. We didn't cover our faces. Our activities is known. United States of America intelligence know everywhere we are residing in across the world. MI5 know our, our daily activities. Even the, the, what they call them, the German government knew. The Italian government knew. Why would they not call us terrorist organization detained in the world? Now I want you to watch this program and take something out of it. The reason why you see this happening is because Nigeria government have exhausted all their plans to stop IPOB. They have exhausted. I repeat, they have exhausted all their all their their, their plans, all the, the 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 techniques they have, all the strategies they have is already exhausted. It is finished. They wanted to use BBC Igbo to paint us bad, paint us evil. It did not work. Do not forget that BBC did a document, run a documentary where they call IPOB media warriors names as people who are violating international international uh, 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 laws, which is lies. We debunked it. Anywhere they go with our name, we follow them, we go there, we defeat them. But this time around, they want to play their last chase. Nigeria government want to play their last chase by pushing, pushing, spending billions and billions of our oil money coming from our land to let the global terror index mention IPOB as the tenth, tenth deadliest terrorist group in the world. Then now tell me how are we terrorists? We are not any terrorists. We are freedom fighters. But there are individuals who are Calling themselves IPOB members when they are not. Those individuals, they deserve death. If they leave or the Biafra come, they deserve to be hanged on a day, on a broad daylight. These individuals that we are killing and committing enormous crime, tagging their name, associating their name with IPOB. They deserve not to leave. I'm one queer. And I have 100% evidence to prove what I am saying here. That this, this individual, their plan was for IPOB to be tagged terrorist organization so that Mazen Nandekanu will not come out of prison or rather die in the prison so that the struggle will be scattered. Saying that their interest is to take over the struggle is just, uh, is just, um, is just um, I don't know the language I'm going to use. For them to take over the language, just, uh, it's, 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 it's not worth saying. Because I can't say it. Because it's not worth saying. Their plan is that IPOB should be called terrorist organization. They now created their name, led by the one you call Simon Ekberima. And call it autopilot. They now attach IPOB to it. They did not say autopilot Biafra. So they say autopilot IPOB. If they had said autopilot Biafra, it's, it's not much problem. 
but they attach that word IPOB. And their leader is still mentioning the name of Mazin Nandika and calling him his leader, saying he is fighting for him. Why they are busy collecting money from politicians, trying to bastardize the struggle, trying to make the struggle look like we are the same, thing, the same people, but we are not. I thank IPOB Intelligence Department. I thank Madhichi Kedosium. I thank all the members of the Rectorate of State for quickly disassociating ourselves from this infiltrator who came to do this job that you are seeing today. What you are seeing today is as a result of the job did by the, what, the man you call Simon Ekberima. And he doesn't deserve to leave. Makachino ke ke munu nabo. Ebo abo na mfule. Unwa unwa uranya mfue belima. Mena anora na Finland. Mfue belima. Nkama kanjenga. Mfue samu anepa. With this terrorist index. That mentioned IPOB. Because of the activities of Samu anepa. And his group in Biafra land. Anyway. Unwa mfue samu anepa. Ebo abo na mfue samu anepa. Oh chine ke ndepo ni hojo ege. Kama Jeremy anga. Come here, Jeremy. You people don't know me. I don't want to. I'm not, I'm not alive. Men know they for Finland. Simon Epa and his fellow so called Otto Halot are the reason why Global Terror Index mentioned the word IPOB because they, everything they are doing, they are attaching it to IPOB. And that is the job they were called to do. And men, I thought that men are in Finland. I want to tell the whole world today that IPOB doesn't have men in Finland. What we have full in Finland are women. With his activities on the ground, with the kidnappings, with the killing, with the beheading of innocent people, great someone that called himself autopilot IPOB have done is the reason why these people had the effort to add the name IPOB. While this guy is not a member of IPOB. They gave him money to start this nonsense. He collected, betrayed Mazen Namdekanu, betrayed everybody. Everybody is a suspect. Now the people that he called his fellow, so his so-called fellow auto halots, autopilots, he is now betraying them. And there is fracas among them. There's a very big fire burning within them. That is the spirit of Biafra. The spirit of Biafra will not allow anybody whose hand has been soiled to last long. Just only but one year and nine months of their oppression, one year and eight months plus of their oppression, they are already scattered. They are already fighting themselves. They are already, voice note are already coming out, which I'm going to play here as in the heart. Simon Epa don't deserve to leave. I am saying it. Open them no feeling like the German government can say more than that. Hmm. No, catch. Open them maybe he actually keep one more cool. Open them Finland. Me jenga, me can say more than that. Achua bima. Say more than that. We you you get him before you grab out. You get him. Me can chuku. Say more than that is the reason why the name IPOB is is added to global terror index. But these guys do not verify to know who are the people that are called the Biafrans, registered. If you go to Finland, there is no paper that is presented, that was presented to the Finnish government as IPOB, where the name Simon Epa is registered. Simon Epa is not a registered member of indigenous people of Biafra. That is why he refused to take oath. He said that the coordinator of IPOB in Finland is a moron. That he will never be under any moron. Now we know who the moron, who, the, who is the real moron. IPOB is a moron in Finland. Who is not a moron in Finland? The whole man of Finland is a moron. He is not a moron. He is 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 a moron. I, I don't. I tell you, we have been working at Kodika. Hey, one of them in Finland.
I will remember Finland. Now, the IPOB, the disappear of Biafra, they met for a very long time, for over nine years. Nobody was able to mention our name as terrorist organization. They only called the governors to say they, 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 they want to stop us from our activities in Biafra land. That is only what they said. And they said they are now terrorists. Now, because of the activities of one man and his group in Finland, the global terror index have carried it. And none of his follow, none of his stupid followers, none of, none of his stupid members will come out now to debunk that IPOB is not a terrorist organization. He used them, got his target, made his money, then moved on. Now, as they call IPOB terrorists, terrorists in the World Terror Index, they are looking like monkey. They cannot come out now to say, no, someone by you are the reason why this happened. But I thank God that Nana, Anna Biafra, and I'm going to play you a voice note that will shock you. A voice note of his fellow member. The man that threatened to kill Barry Stephen Yejofo. The man that threatened to kill Mazi Benjamin Madubu. The man that threatened to kill so many of our people on the ground. Saying that they are the one that sold Biafra. That they are the one that have collected money from politicians. The man, that same voice we heard in days past, in weeks past, in most past, have now come to tell us that Simon Ekberima is the reason why our people are into kidnapping. That he gives them gun, give them bullet. They are into kidnapping. The voice is what I'm going to hear now. He called himself Papa Ejima. But when he wants to threaten to kill Barry Stephen Ejofo, he called himself Onyami. If it's two different people, <laughs> I know it's not. Only one person. <laughs> you, cannot, you cannot play with the, the spirit of Biafra and go scot-free. Blood has been shedded. Men have died. The mother of Onyama can jamaa. Those men that died are not, they didn't die because it is time for them to die. No, they died because they want Biafra to be restored and they were killed. Their life were cut short. These guys will not keep quiet. They will not be looking at this set of people led by Simon and Ekbelima. You guys say that he had a partial stroke. The next one that is going to happen to him is heart attack. He will sleep, he will not wake up. Because your activities on the ground have led the terror, global terror index to call IPOB terrorists, adding them as number 10 because of what you are doing with your fellow men. And before I go on, I want to first play the voice of that idiot, that that terror, that that terrorist himself, that are, is now fighting. His eye is now open. That someone was a job man. Someone was deceiving them. Someone was using them to achieve one or two end. But today, I want to tell you that Isia Adrezebe Kelia, someone like Belima, you and the Azoka. Madam Azuka, what chance man for? Or Madru Nama. Azuka chance man quick and one week, naked. No, dear. Now for. Now for. And anybody that is contributing money, sending to Azuka chance man for Simon de Berima. I want you to know that you are part and parcel of those that have made the terror, the global terror index to mention the name of IPOB because, because of what you are doing in Biafra land. You are contributing money. You are giving them money. Then they are using that money to sponsor the guys who are killing innocent people in Biafra land, who are destroying Biafra land, who are kidnapping in Biafra land, and they have said it by, with their mouth. You are going to listen to it right now. Okay, 
Bia ganjem. As nisi azu katasu mampo. Nisi samone belima. Samone ba. Nisi ya. Mwenye kasi ni abu wanyami. Sini abu pepejwa. Nisi kwa no wogi. Nisi kahadi nera. Manke sini abu da kukwa. Samone ba. Ni abu spokesman. Samone ba. Udu ni ide. Kamna go for me. O fom na gota. Do soji kanjina akona. Nasi no gadro na mani. Kenori na fuma na mpwa. A who can I put? Who do not put on a man to pull off so? I do not need no run. I'm putting no number. No one no use. No one no use. No buffer land. A man. I not was IP OBA for job. Madam, the no mara. Na oge biafra gejina eruona. Ni na chile ken na se. Ni a gezi ne bibo fa ehwe bune wo boyenu. I want you to listen to this voice note, please. Listen and listen attentively. Very, very important. You must listen. Listen. Bluetooth note. They confessed by themselves. How someone is leading them and how he's deceiving them. How they are killing themselves. I have a long voice note here. But let me just play this one. Then why he is talking, I will keep doing my analysis. Listen. Naya, what information? Now I have confirmed that nearly a Simon and Halo with Madame Azoka, nothing but to blackmail people. This is a man that I've been working with Simon Eba and Madame Azoka for a very long time. He is speaking in our dialect, but I'll be translating it to English so that the world the global terror index we take notes of the group of people who are terrorizing our land who we call terror who are doing all this rubbish you failed to mention their name now you are calling I I ipob these guys are not registered anywhere in the world they were known as autopilots and this guy said now he have confirmed that what ip what a type of someone that Berima and madame azuka did was to be doing what blackmailing people Listen to him. And we voice note I received that Papa Jima have been contacting people in box. Please, can this only other person who Papa Jima contact their in box? Have their wolf here, go see, share, so that you we can see it. They are now fighting against themselves. There is war in their own kingdom among themselves now. There is leak, leakage of leadership. And there's leakage of information. Because the money that is coming to them is no longer coming the way it should. And those that, that one that have that come already, there are some few people who are enjoying and eating it. And this Azuka Chasuanko, he her husband is part and parcel of this evil being committed in Biafra land. Because his account is what is used to send money to these criminals. Who are junketing from one place to the other, calling themselves Easter Security Network. They are not Easter Security Network. They want to infiltrate Easter Security Network. They are calling themselves ESN. Why they are killing innocent people, innocent Biafran, kidnapping them, taking things from them. But they are not ESN. The only thing, the only job they wanted to do was just to make sure that ESN is called terrorists, that IPOB is called terrorists, and they are fulfilled. They are, they are done with their they are done with their they are done with their plans but when they stop that we start our own listen who am i going to contact him boss who is simon Iba? when i find out that everything is doing it's not in Boska. do you hear that this is right hand man that he has found out that everything simon Iba is doing is nothing but a scam hello Papa Ejima, who threatened to kill a Jofa, who threatened to kill a, a, a Benjamin Madububu, who threatened Brimstone and thunder, 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 Thunderstone, is now telling the whole world that he now found out that everything Simon Ekberima is doing is nothing but a scam. But this is the right hand man of Simon. You think that Biafra spirit is sleeping? No. You never sleep, no slumber. Listen. If you will be speaking in our dialect, I'll be translating in English. That the world, Nigeria, uh, not Nigeria, what is Nigeria? Uh, America, United Kingdom, uh, uh, Germany, Italy, governments, you understand. The actual people that are committing this, 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 this evil. 
because they are working with Nigerian government. Their target is to call IPOB terrorists. That is their target. Now listen. Lying to be a France. Lying to be a France. You are using their France. Life of our women on the ground playing gamble. You hear that? That someone is using the life of their men on the ground playing gamble. These are the men they are talking about. I will tell you. Nenya contributed to pushing these men, they are calling their men, to Simon Ebulima. Nenya, Madam Finance, you know, contributed in pushing some of these guys to this Ebulima, whom this man is referring to that he's using their life to play gamble. Listen. When you have not made any voice note, you say, Papa Ejima is contacting people with boss. Ask them, can they please? In that page, my contact number do screenshot by message or by voice note. We have a page my by that in the inbox. All those things like making me to understand that Simon is not about a criminal. Do you hear that? Papa Ejima, who was threatening to kill everybody, is telling you that now he understands that Simon Eba is a criminal. Hey, oh God, why do you delay? Come and save your people. Why do you delay? Come and save your nation. Why do you delay? Come and save your Biafran. Biafran, why do you delay? Why is Biafra delaying to come? That this kind of people will not even show face in the public. He is now confirming that Simon Ekberima is, is a criminal. Papa Ejima, who happened to be the killer, the killer, the killer leader of, of Simon Ekberima. Listen. Even then, we you are not innocent anything. You are part and, pass, part and parcel of someone that is a killer squad. The reason why terror, global terror index is mentioning IPOB as number 10. You and a are the reason why they are doing such things. Because you guys are attaching your name to IPOB. If you guys had mentioned, say you are uh, autopilot, don't mention IPOB, then it will be clear. But you are saying that Mazen Nandekani is your leader. And all these things is a bid to tag IPOB terrorist organization. Which I know will not hold ground because there is evidence everywhere that IPOB is peaceful, registered everywhere in the world. Listen. Where is he coming out from? Simon Eba is nothing but a criminal. Okay. I have been receiving a lot of. Please don't come on air yet. Please, now I tell you resolve issue with Simon Eba. No mistake. Papa, don't come on air yet. Next, okay. I will, I will, I will wait for Simon Eba to come back on air to announce how Papa Eba become a saboteur. And which, if, if I wait, for them, I don't get any good response. All those people calling for page to come down. You hear from me on the air. And once I come on air, a lot of secrets. I'm going to reveal every secret, evil, Simon Oliva and Madame Azoka and few men on the ground have been committing. Are you listening? Committed in this, in the name of uh, Mazen Abdekar. Do you listen to that? Global Terror Index, did you listen to what this man just said? This man is part and parcel of those committing this crime on the ground. This man is working with Simon Ekberima, Simon Ekba, who lives in Finland. This man is, is a henchman of Simon Ekberima. This man that is speaking right now, because they are having misunderstanding within themselves, he now say that he's, he is coming on air to reveal everything that Simon Ekberima has been doing with Madame Azoka and some other people on the ground. Anybody who is mentioning Madame Azuka should include the husband because the husband is partaking in it. Even though he's not coming out in the open, his account is where they are sending the money which they used to sponsor the criminals, the kidnappers on the ground. In case you don't know. So he is telling the war or the truth now. Time for confession. They are not confessing. Hasamon is a criminal. Listen. And do I fight Mazen Namdi Kalu Nimenga? Simon, if you come on air 
be broadcasting. You will shut, destroy zoo tomorrow. Uh, there will be no flight to zoo. There will be no this. The zoo Nigeria. They said we are Simon and Apache. We are Judema and Nam the Kalu Nibenga. I release this man. He will go and join Simon and Apache to come and fight the war. No, without knowing that Simon and Apache, Simon and Apache pin. Simon and Apache knows nothing. Do you hear that? Yes. He doesn't have a pin. He doesn't have nothing. But someone in power was telling the whole world he had bought a warship, he had bought a warplane. They, uh, they, are, they are going to be no, no flying zone in Biafra land. Are, he was making mouth shouting, and we were telling you guys, say this guy is empty, it's an empty vessel, he makes most noise. Now the people the people working with him from the inside is speaking. After this voice note, I'm going to play another one with that will shock each and every one of you. He said he doesn't have a pin. His man, he he just like I don't know how I'm going to explain this. This man is working with Simon Eba for a very long time. They know each other. He is not telling you that Simon Eba is nobody. He's an empty vessel that makes the most noise. But he was using the blood of our people on the ground to make money. You are going to hear how. Listen. Simon Eba, if you know the broadcast, nothing but lies. Okay. Everything is broadcasting is lies. Simon Eba. There will be no campaign and no campaign. Okay. There will be no election, a major election. Okay. There should come to this. You will sleep in Nigeria, wake up in Biafra. Or you hear that? Simon Epa was broadcasting and making mouth, lying to his, to his stupid followers that there will be no election, there will be no campaign, and campaign went on. There will be no election, and the election went on. And he was counting days, and the days came and gone, and nothing happened. His own man is telling you, listen to him. People that are shouting woto woto are not asking Simon about those questions. Do you hear that? He is part of the people that were shouting woto woto. This man speaking now is part and parcel of the people shouting woto woto. This man that is speaking now, what a world! What a world! Is God not wonderful? Please, if you are joining this program, I want you to share because I want this this message to get to the right places. This is the same man that used to pray Simon, that used to work with Simon, that is calling IPOB name, calling Mazinam the Kano leadership name, I mean the, the Chike Dozium and the Director of State, talking about people he is going to kill. He's not telling you that all the people that we are shouting Woto Woto cannot ask Simon the question. How would they ask him question? When you yourself, that knew that Simon was fake, and you are following him and working with him, joining hand in killing our people, now, global index, uh, global terror index have included included the name IPOB because Simon Eba is saying he is a member of uh, he is uh, the leader of uh, of um, what they, what they call themselves of um, of uh, autopilot IPOB. Listen to this man. sometimes when God wants to deliver Biafra from the hands of the criminals. What I could say, you know? Why are they supposed to see some uh, videos? Uh, you are part and parcel of the criminal, bro. Papa Ejima is on the phone even the criminals. You work with Simon Eba. You are one of the criminals that he was working with Simon Eba. <laughs> Listen. The granddaughter, this and that. People will be debunking it. And I'm one of the people debunking all those messages, videos. They have our men on the ground. If I follow this plan. That our enemy. My brother, I go for literally now and a post in a forum at that time. If now yeah, I'm a, I'm a man. Believe me, all, all do you listen to this man? This man is now vomiting everything that some of the followers of this Ekbeli man, people like uh Anibeze, Juliet, Ozama, Ozaganam, and so on and so forth. We are saying someone is the one doing good thing. Someone is the one uh, 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 making way. Someone is the one that is doing something that uh, Mazenan can want. You hear what this man is saying? Are you listening? That all the people that we are being killed, that they were debunking, saying that they are not their men on the ground, that those people from A to Z were their men, killed by Nigeria, Nigeria soldiers. <laughs> the criminals themselves. And they were claiming they are ESN. They want to turn the name ESN to bad name and make sure that the international community sees them as terrorists. And that is why you see 
in the global index, the global terrorist index, is mentioning IPOB because of these idiots, this set of people. Unaga had in Dumaka Chineko for Biafra. Unaga had in the Fubiafra, Chineka Uninoko. They listen to him, please. Our mess. Our mess, not a hidden eye. Okay. Simon is just trying to be a friend. Okay. Oh, yes, and Martin, now the Carlo Calafo created the other hidden eye. You see what he said now? He said that it is the ES and Amazon Nam they cannot suffer to create that are falling. What is the work of ESN led by Amazon Nam they cannot? Those that are in the bushes, rooting out all the Fulani herdsmen that are killing and raping our mothers and our sisters, using their, 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 their cows and their cattle to eat up every, every, every crops in our, in our farmland. Kidnapping and killing our people. That is the work of ESN. ESN are not in Osum Osiftowa. They are not in Osumo. They are not in all these places in Uli, in Idiala. ESN are not there. All the people you found there are the members of these autopilot, autopilot criminals. That is their member. And this man is confirming to you that they are being killed and someone that was lying to them. But do you know why Nenyanya? Why I told you that Nenyanya contributed? Immediately, Mazen Nandekalo was kidnapped. Nenyanya seized IPOB funds. ESA stopped getting the normal financial support from Nenyanya. Nenyanya stopped bringing out money. To take care of the men in the bushes and some of them few of them who are not deeply rooted who cannot hold themselves now joined simon Ebulima and his group and so many of them have died as a result of that i know what i'm saying i have my record and if i tell you the truth you don't want to believe take it to anywhere there are people that when Biafra come, if they see Biafra, if they are alive until the day Biafra, they are supposed to be judged in the public and hanged. Nenyanya is one of them. The guy that is speaking now is part and parcel of the evil. But because they are now calling him a saboteur, he is querying Simon Epa. He's challenging someone there, asking him questions. And now he has turned to a saboteur. They are part and parcel. They are working together. Listen to him. Yes. Simon, you were invited in a meeting. Why are the men on the ground complaining? They complain too much. You didn't attend that meeting. The next reporter, if you didn't attend that meeting, a tag against a saboteur. Simon, after the day after that meeting, for you to attend that meeting, you did not attend that meeting. The next day, you went and had a meeting with ESN. Why is that since he on the ground at all? He did not have any meeting with ESN. The people he had meeting with are the criminals they gave the name ESN. They want to hijack that name ESN to be committing crime. So when he said he went to a hard meeting with ESN, some people will think it is the original ESN that was created by Mazen Nandekan. These are his criminal gang that are kidnapping and killing people. This man said it. Listen, how can we do no, no. Share this program. Listen to him. Play. Simon, you never pay attention. You never attend to them. Ask Simon, if you must stop attending to them because we will begin to post their source of contribution. We begin to tell those who are giving the money to stop because they are criminals. We begin to expose them. So the Eberima called for uh, how many people? Was it 50 people that would give him? Uh, how many people was, did he call that would give him $10,000 for, is it for one year or how many months did he mention that Biafra will come? We busted it. We said nobody should give him the money. So there is no money flowing in for him to use to maintain those guys on the ground. 
That is why you see them quarreling, complaining, and the Ibelima is even ignoring them, not even attending to them. Listen. Those men that we are complaining, Madam Azo, Kane Okuna, those men are not with us, are not in that meeting. All of them are in that meeting. Madam Azuka is another big liar. Saying that the people that we are complaining are not part of them. But this man is telling you that all the people were there in the meeting, the criminals, the kidnappers. Listen. <laughs> not with, you, with us. How do you think they will be in that meeting? Simon Ibana said they are from Sassi. It's like to be. If you don't talk about those men on the ground, now voice out to the truth. Even the men on the ground. I talk about that they are not with us. Did you see what I said before? <laughs> you see what I said before? There are people that are genuine IPOB members whom are well recruited into the Eastern Security Network to guard Biafra land against the Fulani terrorists. But because Madame Nianya refuse to release fund to take care of this man some of them few of them now joined a man that is what this man is talking about do you understand i don't lie as long as this struggle is concerned i don't lie i tell you the truth because biafra is a, is a spirit if you speak truth about this struggle you will see good once you start lying, you go meet your yeah, Waterloo. And that is what is happening to this guy. This guy was condemning the US. This guy was condemning Madubu, lying against him, lying against the Jofo, saying that the politicians are giving them money. That is why they are uh, talking about the election, this and that. They wanted us to join them to say there will be no election so that millions of our people will be killed by the Nigerian government. The moment they notice that we are not part and parcel of that ideology of not allowing our people to practice their franchise in a democratic contraption called Nigeria, they now say that they are going to kill our people who are actually working for the effort to be restored. So today, you listen to him. Listen. Our propaganda lies. <laughs> just to cover his selfishness. Yes. And immediately he find out that more page, I talked, I got the whole truth, what is going on, which I first contacted Simon, but send him even voice so I would tell Simon, when I'm back, I feel like they're not I told him to go seek asylum, so that you will be protected under the United Nations. The voice notice in my phone, I sent to Simon, to him. Simon, go and seek asylum so that you'll be protected under United Nations as a freedom fighter that is fighting for your people. Hold it there. Are you listening? The moment he heard that Simon was about to be arrested, he now gave him advice to go and seek asylum under United Nations so that he'll be protected. <laughs> this is the Simon that was attacking DOS. That was attacking everybody that is a member of the Rated of State. Lying against them. This is the same Simon Eba. Saying that if you if you are not ready to be called a terrorist, it's better you relinquish your position and get out of that place. So when it is time that he is about to be rebelled a terrorist, he was about to run. He was running away actually before they catch, caught him and brought him back. In case you don't know. Do you understand? Do you understand? Listen to him. They send Simon about calling me to page my saboteur. Simon, if I call you saboteur, you never play any voice note. Mm -hmm. That I uh, see from my page, ma. You you sabotaged Mars in Nande Kano and sabotaged IPOB leadership, then joined Egberima. Now Egberima is seeing you that you are sabotaging him too. So all of you are gang of criminals working together. Once one person do not allow uh, 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 agree with the other person, Kasala will boss. That is the reason why we are hearing this. Look at the people that want to give you Biafra. Look at the people that, are, that claim to be fighting to, to make Biafra to be restored. Listen to him. 
You just come out with your mouth and announce that Papa Jima is a sabotua. Some fools to some beast. Papa Jima, you are a sabotua. I am as well as you can is telling you that you are a sabotua. You have sabotaged the struggle in so many ways. So if a Belma call you a sabotua, call him sabotua too because both of you are working together. Both of you are both sabotuas. Continue. Not a freedom. When you the Simon told you the crime on your committee. <laughs> or because of you don't open up the crime, I will not say the ground and committee. Because Take note of this. Take note of this. Take note of this. United Nations, America, <laughs> international community. He said, Is it because they have not exposed the crime which their, their men on the ground are committing? I think if I can rewind it a little bit to hey, let it not be too much, just a little bit. Just a little bit, a little bit. Oh God, I cannot. I wish I can just rewind it a little bit. <laughs> I did. I want you to pay attention to this. Dear friends, pay attention to what this guy said. He said, is it because they have not started exposing the kind, the kind of crime they are men? It's not ESNO under the leadership of Mazin Namikan. This one is the criminals that Simon Ekta fraudulently called ESN working with him. This guy is saying that there are crimes they are committing. Kidnapping. Snatching of cars. Listen to him. Listen. Yes. Simon Ekta, you are invited in a meeting. Kajua Gajuju. Why are the men on the ground complaining? The complaint is too much. You didn't attend that meeting. The next reporter, if you didn't attend that meeting, they tag you again in Sabotua. Simon, after the day, after that meeting, for you to attend that meeting, you did not attend that meeting. The next day, you went and had a meeting with ESN. Why is that since the men on the ground are complaining? No. Simon, you never pay attention. You never attend to them. Ask Simon, all. If those men that we are complaining, Madam Azo, Kande Kuna, those men are not with us, are not in that meeting. All of them are in that meeting. If they are not with, it, with us, how do you think they will be in that meeting? Okay. Simon Ibana said, be after assassin. It's lying to me. If you don't talk about those men on the ground, that voice out to the truth. Even the men on the ground, I talk about that they are not with us. Nanda will not look with the DOS. Nanda will be there and we'll come with again. All those things are propaganda, lies. Okay. Just to cover his selfishness. Yes. And immediately he find out that more Papa Jima. I talk, I go the whole truth, what is going on. Which I first contacted Simon, but send him even voice so I would tell Simon Eva, when I'm back, I feel like I told him to go and seek asylum. So that you will be protected under United Nations. Okay. The first notice in, in my phone I sent to Simon Eva, to him. Simon, go and seek asylum so that you'll be protected under the United Nations as a freedom fighter that is fighting for your people. <laughs> they send Simon, they calling me for page, for Sabotua. Simon, if you call me Sabotua, you never play any voice note mm -hmm. that I uh, see from Papa Jima that it shows that Papa Jima is a Sabotua. You just come out with your mouth and announce that Papa Jima is a Sabotua. Some fools, some beasts, not a freedom. <laughs> you see, Simon Epa have tagged him a terrorist, and people are calling for his head to be cut off. All of you that are looking for the people who are genuinely working for Biafra Restoration, all of you that are planning to eliminate the life of those that have genuinely fight for Biafra Restoration, you will be killed by your people, by those people you are working with. Look at him now. He's afraid of death. This idiot is afraid of death. Because he said that the people, he called them zombies in their clique, their autopilot, that are calling for his head to be caught, did not ask his crime, which is committed. But this is the same person that was asking, that, that was uh, declaring Barista Jofo wanted in Biafra land. The same person that said that Joe Force should be killed anyway they see him in Biafra land.
Il se passe dans le club de anywhere et je faut attend any 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 gathering Biafra that he should be he should be he should be shot at and killed. This is man. Now, people may have tagged him a terrorist, tagged him a, a, a betrayer, a saboteur. So now him himself is running for his life. That is why he's speaking out. <laughs> Nande kano, amari chauma, chine ke nyero mu biafra kaiweri adozo bodo. Kamona gi bodi wendo. All of you, una amafu biafra. Uno try kwa nuwa amafu biafra. Aga puti ni na ni luka yano masako nukatu. Aye buni ne. Epe chuo ni be. After judgment, uni ni ne aya ni aga buni koko koko. Papa jimu iso ni me ha. Iso ni me ha. Now I want you to listen to that which he said about because they have not started exposing the crime, their men, the autopilot men, led by, led by someone are committing on the ground. So you know we are not lying. We are the genuine people who are fighting for the freedom of Biafrans. And the Directorate of State are the only leadership led by Mazichi Kedosim that will take you to the right direction. All of you that are following them, sheepishly, mumushly, those of you that are following them, that doesn't even have any iota of idea of what is happening. It is time for you to go out of that dungeon you called uh, autopilot. Because a day is coming when you will cry and nobody will listen to you. Listen to him. Or because of we don't open up the crime our men are the ground are committing. Because of criminality, Simon and Madamazoka are committing. Or is it because they have not opened the crime? And criminality, they are men on the ground are committing because of the crime and the criminality of Simon Eba and Madame Azoka. You will not release it to the men on the ground. You see, when they contribute money and give to them, they will not release it to men on the ground. You see, it's all about money. It is all about money. Listen. Maybe we will not camp. Let us see why. Ofu camp every time na Nigeria zua mi nono so every time na disa mo so ka fighter jet na asai mo leba is it the only in nono can a fighter be a from freedom? What is going on in nono? Okay. Simon leba after the meeting I must see we invited Simon leba to ask him questions. The next day Simon leba went and have meeting with men on the ground. Well, but men on the ground that all of them in Biafra land she moved to. Also, when Simon knows that men on the ground are not united, only in our meeting also, some are not in good terms with the, uh, the, the commander and also, some are, some, those ones are complaining, you tell all of them to go and meet, uh, to go to also come, all the, in their, all their own land. But the men on the ground in Enugu, every state, they should go to also come, to go and do what? Simon. You see, you see, when Mazishina Samoru told the world that IPOB do not have any camp in Osu, in Iyala, in Uli, in uh, Anambra, you thought he was joking. So now, this man is explaining to the world that Simon Ekba is asking other of his men, who are some uh, the men that he called his uh, followers, members, to go, all of them to go to also where the Nigeria government, the Nigeria military are always attacking them. So he's not asking Simon, why is it that everybody, why must everybody go to the same place? Is that only place where you are fighting your own freedom? Listen. What is what was your plan? Sending all those men to also camp. Okay. Is it the only in also we are fighting freedom? Or is it only in Nemo State we are fighting Biafra freedoms? Okay. Biafra, ask yourself, why is it only in also camp every time fighter jet is there, every time Nigerian army is, is there? Okay. Ask Simon about what is going on in also camp. Is it only in also we are fighting for this freedom? Something is wrong somewhere. Okay. Ask Simon, but must we only fight for Biafra freedom during the election period? Okay. So if we didn't get this freedom now, this uh, period of election, 
We will now wait another four years. Once the election come again, we it will come out and start shouting. Uh, we'll come out shouting. Uh, Biafra freedom. There will be no election in Biafra land. There will be no election in Biafra land. Oh my God. Hey, Chibeki is too much. God is too much. God is wonderful. My brother, to be a leader, you will not make yourself a leader. A leader is born, gifted from above. And when people choose you to be their leader, anyhow you are leading them, they won't complain. But once you make yourself a leader, and the leader you are, you are is a stupid leader, a foolish leader, a 419 leader, your people will not believe in you. He is claiming to be the leader of people of Biafra that will give you Biafra. And this man is querying him, asking him, is it only during election that you are fighting your freedom? We told them that this is how it's going to be. And now they are querying him. So his own is all about putting sit at home during the election period. After that, then what happened? Listen to him. So we can't fight this freedom without an election period. Okay. To show you that once the election gets closed, they will come out shouting so that politicians will start contacting them and settle them. Okay. Anybody fighting freedom during the election period is not a freedom fighter. Okay. Start it before the election. Okay. You they hear them? Hey, that will start fighting the Zoo government before that election. The Zoo government will never fix anything like election. Because the country will be on fire. Did uh, Russia and uh, Ukraine uh, started fighting during the election period? Did Amazonia start fighting during the election period? She look at Bawaku, you're a bad man. Amazonia started fighting and stopped the election in Amazonia today. That is how you are a freedom fighter. You can't be shouting on social media after a uh, campaign has come and go. Then we go presidential election. Uh, governorship election and others supposed to be this uh, uh, weekend. You came out and shout, uh, sit at home. Sit at home. <laughs> Nigerian government uh, shift their election because of uh, issue they are having with Arnett. Simon, if I come out and shift your own sit at home. Why can't you maintain the same sit at home you are fixed now? Okay. Then that election day, you still put another sit at home. Okay. To show them how serious you are. Okay. That means you are doing business with uh, the FF Freedom. You know, they hear them. Who knows how many politicians are uh, calling him now? Okay. Who do you mean, let us do election. That is what they are doing. Hold your men, let's go to the election. He's saying that it's the uh, Afghan uh, 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 what, what army, repression army. Where are they during all those campaign period? Where are they during all the election, presidential election period? The Afghan repression army, where are they? Are they ghosts? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I think. Nderi, nderi. That will not fly zone, that will not fly zone. Okay. How? Including yourself. They put in a threat in Zoom Nigeria okay. on social media. Okay. On your platform. Okay. Fetch them with a feature. They will not come out in the Kalafu. He they hear him. Exactly what we are telling them. He is threatening them, saying also all sort of nonsense. And Mazi is receiving the the, the 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 punishment that is what we, we know we knew it so this man knew all this and he was threatening to kill if i threatening to kill um, uh, um benjamin madibu this idiot that is speaking now if you are listening to him you think oh this man is a good man no oh, he love man and they cannot lie they are the same people because sharing of money is no longer circulating the way it's supposed among them that is why you see the fight coming listen to him we are good, this innocent man. You think you are fighting for Mazen and the cow? Okay. Somebody, my bum, of all the promises in the go Biafras, of who in the good execute. Yes. He is challenging someone now to tell Biafras all the things, all the promises he has promised it to them, one that he has executed, one. Listen. Tell me what we have achieved. Thank God. He said we. we he said we have achieved. We. Thank God. He speak through here. He said we. That means he, include, he included himself. Let's go. Together in a meeting to call him to discuss this thing as a family. Let's go. What can we do? I 
And you need to say one thing and stand on it and make sure that thing happen. Okay. Criminality. There will be no campaign in a campaign. There will be no election in no election. Okay. The letter tell us count today. We are going to we are going to be surprised we sleep in Nigeria and wake up in Biafra. I count to charge this. No people, all these people that are supporting Simon Liba, do you don't want to come out and ask him, Simon Liba, what was your plan before you do you tell us count start counting date? Okay. Can you plan it? Can you begin half a letter before you come out and announce to Biafra? Millions of people that will start counting dates. So so that something great will happen. Did you see anything happen? Is that how to get is that is counting date how to get freedom? You see, these guys are just joking with you guys. Messing around with your brains. You brainless followers that call yourself autopilot. You are not asking questions. You don't have brain. Your brain you, you are brain dead, all of you from A to Z. All of you from A to Z, you are brain dead. Imagine what this man is saying. You are not asking questions. So, in counting 150 days, eh, because Mazinan can say we should pray for 150 days, we're going to see what will happen. Now, I believe I have copied him to say in 150 days, Biafra will come. Mazinan can say that he doesn't know when Biafra will come, but Biafra is going to be the last miracle. I believe I came and say that Biafra, uh, that uh, he knows the date when Biafra will come. That Mazinan can also know because he do not want to tell you. Mazinan Kanu set up Eastern Security Network to check, met the activities, the killing of Fulani's men in our land. Simon Ekberima now say he is the ESN himself, and now he have hijacked some fools and brought some other criminals together and called them ESN. Mazinan Kanu had uh, M branch that are taking care of intelligence gathering in regards to this struggle. They have been existing. Nobody knew them. Simon Neba came out to say that he have his own M branch and we are close to some Boy Scouts, you know, brandish them, snap them picture and post everywhere. Everything Mazen Nandikan will say, Simon Neba will imitate. But at the end of the day, has he achieved anything? No. He haven't achieved any shit. He haven't done any, any bakam. He's just extorting money. And, you know, Doing things that will make, that will provoke the international community. Today, they have added IPOB because he doesn't want to leave that word IPOB. They have added the word, the name IPOB, to Global Terror Index. And you tell me that this guy doesn't deserve that. Listen to this idiot that is speaking. And all these zombies will still be there with Simon, but this year will finish. You are so one. Of, you are one of the zombie, Papa Ejima, for staying with him all this while until you are no longer getting the money that they promised to be given to you. That is why you are not calling him zombie. Continue. Finish. Another election will come. The one they call uh, Chiamaka Adyere is with, is with Ekberima. That one is with Ekberima. Uh, I think he's now he's uh, Ekberima uh, 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 um, deputy. Or should I say Ekberima spokesman? Since his main spoke, spokesperson is... Uh, Already sacked. <laughs> then they get what they be after. Listen to this idiot. And all those things nice. What all this threat in Ifland and on social media? Different. This one Nigeria, Chichi, the man, Zemna, the car. You they hear them? That all the empty threats that they believe have been given to Nigeria military is why they are holding mass. They want to see the strength of Ibrahim and his threats, and they have not done a shit. Can only form it, and only for game. He can't do anything. Or do you know? Only for well. Someone that believes knows has nothing to offer. Listen to his uh, his benchman. Did you hold this man? He said you are the central man that you are fighting for the freedom. Which freedom are you fighting for? I contribute to say go out and take your care of men on the ground. Few people who hold it and sit on and sit on it. I go go some few men on the ground. And they don't make anything from the contribution. Far so past it. Do you hear that? Do any care to see that they eat. Do you hear that? That when they contribute money, finish and give to Madame Azok and the Berima, they will get hold of the money, make use of it. They will not give the criminals they are training on the ground whom they are buying guns and giving to, they will not give them any part of that money. And these guys will not enter streets. 
with the gun they have and begin to do criminality. Is it clear to you all that IPOB leadership, known as DOS, have been vindicated? Is it clear? Are you now? Is it not down on you now that all of you that insulted DOS in the past and fought them are still owing them an apology? Listen to the idiot. Do you hear that? <laughs> this one, another bomb. This man said that Simon should come out and swear if their men on the ground are not doing kidnapping. Do you understand it? This Papa Juma is challenging Simon to come out and swear if their men on the ground are not doing kidnapping. Did we tell you people that they are kidnappers or not? Did we tell you people that they are doing uh, uh, car racketing? They will, they, will kidnap, uh, they will kidnap people, carry their cars, go butcher them and sell. And you think we are joking. Now one of their members who was a part and parcel of the whole activities is now confessing. All in the name is attacking Simon. People no get sense. It is only few men that can, can, that can die with secrets. That can die with top secrets that they have. Kill them. Instead of them to open their mouth and, and reveal the secret they know. But the, the spirit of Biafra, as long as what they are doing is wrong, is going to open their mouth and they will vomit everything they have, they have eaten. Listen to the idiot. Oh, men of the land are not committing crime. And this thing is much in Imo State. And that is why eight appoints like that also come. Okay. You hear that? That there are men of the land are committing crime. The Biafra land. Keep in that in the case, is that also. Ask Simon, what is happening in that also? Come. What? The world should know that these men we, they are referring to are Simon Ekna followers, not Martin Nandi Kanu followers. These guys are not IPOB members. They are autopilot members. Their leader is Simon Ekna in Finland. This man is exposing what Simon Ekna... And he is even promising that what he's saying now is just a tip of iceberg. That he's still coming to do a broadcast that he is going to expose everything. Is Biafra spirit not working? It is working. Listen to him. In that place, the military are going all the time. Why is it only that place the Sioux Nigeria are going all the time to bomb? That means something is wrong there. Don't we have men on the ground in Enugu State, Airport State? Have you heard such news? Our men on the ground, Mazonia do form them to fight against the Fulanese, not against our own people, to protect our bushes. You hear that? Do you hear that? And that is what the Eastern Security Network that we have that was formed by Mazen and the Kano, that are under the command of the Rhetoric of State are doing. To, 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 to secure our bushes and protect our land, not to kill, kidnap, and snatch cars of our people. But his own members, this guy that's speaking now is part and parcel of those guys who are kidnapping, which he said now that Simon can come and swear if there is if their men are not keep doing kidnapping on the ground. Listen to him. We are fighting our enemies, not our own people. Okay. And Mazi said it in the court that he want their land to be calm. That he is in the hand of the enemy. Because he won't be afraid to come. That you shouldn't kill your own people. That he is there to make sure that his people is saved, not to kill them. And this man is confirming that Ekberima is the one with Madame Azoka and Madame Azoka's husband bringing money and giving to those who are killing and kidnapping our people. Listen to him. Every time you are hearing kidnapping in Imo State, every time you are hearing that Snatchka in Imo State, who are those people doing those things? Simon Ibaku. Simon Ibaku, no, 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 what else do you guys want me to say? And you tell me that we have men in Finland 
this guy is in Finland committing this kind of crime that is taking the life of our people, committing this kind of crime that have put the name of IPOB in the Global Terror Index as number 10 most deadliest terrorist organization, which I know we were going to fight because IPOB are registered everywhere. We are not committing any crime. It is only the one called autopilot that are committing these crimes. Let us listen to the idiots because that is who he is. And you keep on giving them courage so that the him and Madame Azoka will be sitting on the money. Oh, my mother, not talking. The men on the ground, they're on the ground. Those first three find out that they're going to fail, going to need, they're going to grow up. Those men on the ground, they're going to need, and they're going to grow up. They have families. Many of them, their families are in the hospital. Some of them, their children are going to school. Ask yourself, how are they taking care of their families? Simon, you know, in contact with men on the ground, you control who are. Only create WhatsApp for men on the ground. Who get the WhatsApp number? Men on the ground are a different phone. What is like three of us keeper, what information, Biafra Media World, or some other platform men on the ground are here. And they are listening to people's voice. And what's up with somebody who don't hide from the truth, who somebody who says the way it is. Some people start writing me. I'm not on the ground to do to know who is men on the ground. I don't know any camp. You will say yes, Papa Jumma gave information. You are a liar, Papa Ejima. He was with Onyashi. He knows every camp. He knows everything. You are trying to exclude yourself from this evil. But believe you me, this is a voice note. Our children's children's children are going to listen to it. Our children is going to be kept in Biafra archive. When Biafra come, when Biafra come, our children, your own children, if that is that is if you have children, they are going to listen to this thing you are vomiting here, indicting yourself with your fellow members. And that is the spirit of Biafra pushing you to say all these things. That the world may know that IPOB leadership are the best, they are unshakable, they are peaceful, the most peaceful. We are not fighting anybody, we are not killing anybody. We are only fighting against those who are kidnapping and raping our mothers in our bushes. And we are asking for Nigeria to allow us to go through referendum. Listen to the e You are telling people this is a criminal page, man. It's a saboteur. What makes him a saboteur? Can you tell the Afras why a page, man, because it's a saboteur? You are a saboteur, e Because I ask questions. You ask questions. You came on social media. In a, in a you, Simon, you have my contact. <laughs> the same page, man, you are present on your broadcast. To say the same, you say page, man, say Sabotua. The same people that are used to listening to page, man, they are beheading me. Hey, what's in a good old lady? The same people today never ask questions. Papa, what was your crime for Simon to tell you a saboteur? You never cheat, Chanty. <laughs> a lot of people will end up in shame. In you will world. end up in shame. There's no struggle for you. You are a criminal. You never cheat, Chanty. You. Many of you will end up in shame. You never cheat, Chanty. Let me they tell you. If Simon is a men on the ground, men on the ground will not contact him people. I'm not on the ground. I don't have any position in this struggle. Simon, if I never come out one day to announce Papa Ejima, men on the ground should be contacting you, contacting you. For you to say, yes, I gather all information from men on the ground, I now go and, and give it to Zoo Nigeria. The answer is no. I don't know any of the men on the ground. I on a platform, can men on the ground not complain? They get me informed. Papa Ejima, they are trying to reach Simon. They, which I put out all the information to Simon, but no response. That's your issue. They said Simon, but... That is who you are. Simon, that just make me to understand that. Ni fri fri no ni ebu. Today come up a page ma kote ni su kwa dere no no. Okay. Because I know that I'm innocent. I know I never committed any crime. You have Onyoshi, be friends. Listen, I have another thunderous voice note. That I will not print that one today. We're going to catch Don Wunu. Hold this one. If you are still doubting the leadership of IPOB, after listening to this voice note, you will have a second thought. You have to rethink again. You have every reason to put your, 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 your gear in revise.
to say no these people have suffered in the hand of these betrayers these these backstabbers that are never even members of direct of, of, of ipub but what i'm saying today is that global index that have put the name of ipub as one of the terrorist groups number 10 it is as a result of what these idiots living in Finland have been doing with these criminals on the ground. But I tell them, we are indigenous people of Biafra, we are registered in over 120 countries, and if you are calling us terrorists, know you that we are genuine freedom fighters, then those countries that give us reason to congregate and talk about our freedom, you have to ask them question, or rather they should ask you question. This is where I want to bring this program before I will open my line to take one or two calls. And the number to call on this program is what I want to tag here right now. For those of you that want to contribute, I don't want to take much time. I answer one or two calls, then I will do the needful. I will still have another program that will expose more things that you need to know. Their voice note is coming out in mass. Simon Ebelima is a thief. Simon Ebelima is a betrayer. Simon Ebelima is every bad thing you can ever imagine in life. And God knows that Mazen Nandekano did not just mention his name. It is people that push Mazen Nandekano to mention his name. That gives him the leverage to begin to penetrate into the heart of Biafrans using the name Mazen Nandekano is our leader to walk. And today, Madam Azoka Chasuanko and the husband who are contributing to the killing of our people in on the ground by sending money to criminals buying guns to them for them all in the name of fighting for biafra god in heaven will not allow you people to live to see biafra that is what i have to say my number to call is already on the screen and i'll pin it down those of you that want to contribute the number is there then the line is open call me and make a contribution but don't spend more than three minutes highest four minutes Thank you. I'm waiting. But while I'm waiting, I have to give you this song from our brother, Oyeka Chuku Abalanze. Oyeke, Oyeko Keke. Ukada Chuku Sika Tosamono. Open the Jagon. Yes, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I have a caller on the line. Caller, welcome to this program. I see the hot. Your name and where are you calling from, please? I see the hot. Go ahead, my brother. Everybody. Okay. 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 Whatever I want, cool and a biscuit in a granite where we are going put you. Here, 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 man, 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 man. What is that? What is that? Man, 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 man. What is that? Hey, Simon, Simon, how you cool? Cool, don't keep me mad, you cool. Cool, don't cool, cool, last, last. Of course. I buy a mugi, man. Oh yeah, but. Oh, good in the music. Bluetooth note. Okay. 
Enum. Thank you. No problem. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. Ndewo. Ndewo. That is our brother, Mazio Kechuku, Lucky Biafra. And I want to make a call. While all these things are happening, some people do not understand what we are doing. Some people are still believing that Simon Eba is doing something good. But his members are now telling you that he's doing nothing. Instead, he is there causing problem. This guy said something that shocked me. If Simon can come and they swear, I didn't know those who are doing kidnapping, snatching of cars, beheading of people, that Simon will die. He said he, their men on the ground are committing a lot of atrocities. I have another caller on the line. Caller, welcome to this program, as the Hot. Welcome to the program. Please, can you speak louder? Hello, Mazi. Uh, yes, uh, welcome. Uh, welcome, sir. This morning here in the USA. Yes, welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you for this presentation this morning. Thank you. Uh, I've been watching you, and I know uh, you don't come out like that. Anytime you come out, there's something serious on air. Yes. So what I, what I have to tell uh, the fans this morning is that I'm an elder. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, uh, you know, an old member of IPOB worldwide. What is going on? If you, I told you before that Simon Eba is a criminal. Simon Eba is nobody. Simon Eba is being sponsored. And most of the people that sponsor Simon are the Umada in the USA. And that Umada in the USA are the people who are making all these contributions. You know, uh, helping Simon Eba to carry out his evil activities. Whenever we are mentioning about Simon Eba, Simon Eba, we should be also be mentioning the names of this Umada because they are the one causing this havoc. They are the one making these contributions to Azoka and the other, uh, other people that follow the uh, Simon Eba cannot do without this Umada. Simon, these people are the ones, you know, fooling this killing in Igbo land, killing, uh, killing in Devil land. So anything that Simon Eba deserves, this Umada will deserve it too. Azuka, Azuka and the husband must be held, held responsible for the killing of our people. That woman that was killed, that pregnant woman that was killed in that market. Azuka and the husband must be held responsible for the death of that pregnant woman. Yes. And I, and I want all the evil, the evil to look deep on, on what is happening. Now they say that uh, IPOB now is, uh, is, is being prescribed as a terrorist organization. You can imagine. These people should wake up. Our Igbo men are looking at it that Mazin and the Kalu and the IPOB members are the, one, are the ones who, who are uh, being called Diapas. Uh, uh, when, when anything happens in Nigeria, you see the planning will come together to defend Mediala, to defend their own. But our uh, Igbo people, millionaires and billionaires in Igbo land, they are looking the other way around. Let me tell you what is happening. What they, what they prescribe us. You know, you know that the Dangote group had Tony Blair's wife as one of the uh, uh, board of directors. Dangote group is against everything we RTOB people are doing. Dangote group want to take over. This thing you see they are doing at the Senate uh, 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 house in, in Nigeria about the waterway. Dangote could want to take over the waterways. That is why they are he, he is sponsoring what most of the things that is happening within the Biafra land to make sure they are being prescribed. Dangote and Sanusi Lamido. Remember during the COVID-19, Dangote was a trailer we are used to convey all these immigrants into Nigeria, into the south. And it was Lamido, Sanusi Lamido that went to Senegal and, and signed an agreement with them. To so bring in these foreigners to come and attack and take over Nigeria, they say Nigeria belongs to their father. We have to look deep into who are the people following this thing that is happening in Nigeria today. And who is responsible for this prescription they are giving to IPU? The Fulani Caliphate, the Fulani, the Fulani Kabas, they are responsible. They are involved. Our politicians are only the government and the IPU members. They, they forgot that they are all fools. Idiots. The 
the Fulanese are using what they have to suppress us. To the Tango and Lamido, Sanusi Lamido. And we are keeping quiet. They said that Dango is a millionaire, he's a billionaire in Africa because of that they are afraid of him. And let me, so, let me forget about that one. Another thing I have to tell away the advance is that whatever we see that is coming up now is a way to stop this agitation. The federal government wants to stop this agitation, and Catherine Lyle has completed her assignment, you know, uh, on, on this project, and that is why they have to change her. They have to change Catherine Lyle because she, what the assignment that she was given to come to Nigeria to perform, she has completed it perfectly. And we don't have to, we don't have to stop at nothing. All we need to do now is to debunk this name that they want to give us. If we don't debunk it, it's going to affect us greatly. Even because of those in diaspora. What they want to do now so that we'll not be holding rallies again in, in, in diaspora. We'll not be talking about IPOB again in any any country where we, we where we reside in, which is not going to happen. They cannot shut us up. All the we are, I want to tell the DOS, the DOS is come up with now with another strategy. Where we have to do a, a rally a rally about it, what we are seeing now, the the, the work of Dangote and his group and Sanusi Lamido to table us a terrorist organization. We have to debunk it. We have to march in all the major cities in America, in Europe, in Canada, in Africa. Focus on this prosecution and is focus on the blue and the white. That's correct. Of course. Thank you very much. Mazi, before you go, I want to I want to chip something before you go and I would like you to say something about it. Should I should I go on? Go on, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, good. Um I don't know if you listened to the voice note of uh, the guy that was working with, with Ekba. There is a particular there, there is a statement that that guy dropped there. I would like you to throw a little bit light using two or three minutes where he said that if they open their mouth to talk about the criminalities of the people of their men on the ground because of the criminality and deceit of simon Ekba and madame azoka that people will not believe it that is to say that they know that their men are the ones he even said that simon cannot even swear that he didn't know that it is these men those one he called his men on the ground that are kidnapping and the snatching cars. So in, in a nutshell, looking at the reason why the Global Terrorist Index, Terror Index, add IPOB in their list, what do you have to say in connotation with this? Well, uh, thank you. What I have to say is this. When Simon was... as a Nigerian agent, when he came into, uh, into, in, into this uh, um, uh, 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 in the struggle, he was from the outside. He is not part of us because he's not on that oath. We are on that oath. That was why he refused to take oath because he knew the assignment they have given him. Someone and as 
Zoka, Nello Febu, and Madame Oibo, all these people, they, they, they knew exactly when Nandi Kalu was kidnapped. They knew when they sat, they, they knew the time they, they, this actual mod, 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 so the moment the Nam Nikani was brought back to Nigeria, they put themselves together. And that was why they wanted to make sure that Chike Dozen was removed at the head of the HOD. They want China Samoru to take over that and they need China Samoru to work with Simon Epa so that they will mess up the DOS and mess up China Samoru and hijack the, the struggle. All we are saying now is that Simon Epa is responsible for all the criminalities that is going on in Gafra land. All the killing, all the kidnapping, all, all what, whatever that is, they, 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 they have tagged RTOB to be. Simon Nipa was called in to come and do this stuff with uh, Azoka and his group, but with Nedia Febu. They knew that Simon Nipa would do this job perfectly for, for them because he is a liar. Like, like Lai Mohammed. If you are not a liar, you will not be able to do the job perfectly. Everything you see, the criminality you see that going on in, in Nemo State, Simon Nipa is involved. Every community is it that is going on in airport, you say, and that is going on in Anambra, that is going on in, 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 in Enugu State. Simon Ipa boys are the ones doing this. Our ESN have, no, have nothing to do with it. Do you remember what we said that the ESN was called to come and defend our land against the Fulani Hairsmen, period. Nothing more, nothing less. We are only after the Fulani Hairsmen, and we are not after the polit our politicians. We are not after innocent people. We don't go to the market. You see that anytime we march, remember those days, you people are going to use, you people used to march, I used to watch you always on the phone. You people are march, I don't, I, we have never, we have never marched, and then they, are, they need to stop us from the market. There are anything that I have to say, that maybe my goods were stolen, my car was marched. No, we don't do yes and don't do that. Anytime we march, you don't see all this evil coming out after the match. Okay. It was Simon Ipa that was calling to come and do this so that ESM will be proscribed. If that will be proscribed as devil's organization. And he had done what he's supposed to do. And it's left for us now to pay them back with all this Umada. All this stupid Umada in, 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 in the USA. USA is the world. They, they are the player going behind every activity Simon Ipa is doing. All those in the USA behind Simon Ipa, they are the ones that are raising this form. That was why Simon Ipa is so close to anybody that lives in the USA, because this is where the bunch of the money is coming from. Simon Ipa cannot do anything without people living in the USA. That is correct. So anything you see, anything you see that he is he's doing today, that's why he's, uh, he's so much attached to one of the more that if you turn from Nelly, he go to Madame Yibo, he turn from Madame Yibo, he go to Azuka, he will pursue from Azuka, and he's going to go to the other college, he's going to be like, stuck so that one. If Simon Ipa has no time, but he has made so much money because he became the spokesman for the for autopilot. He has made so much money now he, because he's a criminal. This is what he came for. He's a poor man, and I don't blame him. He's trying to survive, but he, he did it in the wrong way by betraying his own people. Okay. Thank you very, very much, my brother, for this um, contribution. And on this note, I'm going to bring the program to an end. You are the last caller of the program. Thank you so much. Uh, tomorrow or next tomorrow, I'm coming up with another program where I will still go on and analyze the exposition which they are bringing to us. They are bringing the exposition about the activities to the public. So we, we have to help them to analyze it to those, to those fools who are following them, those mumus who are following them. And we need to open their eyes. So thank you very much, my brother, Mama Zoleka. May you go, Kevin, my bless you. Thank you. Because you see, most of them now are going to the camp. They are going to run away from Simon Ipa and Azoka. They are all going to run away. They are going to find a way, somewhere to go. They are going to run away. Thank you. Okay, brother. Bye bye. Yes. And I think on this note, I am going to bring this program to an end. And my son, you have to say for QH, I can be one who can mass up a lazy to go be came. I go be a friend, came and I be a friend with no one in it. We are indigenous people of Biafra, we are freedom fighters, we are not terrorists. Terrorists does not show their face like this. They do, they used to cover their faces. We are registered in over 120 countries and we are proudly asking for our nation to be restored through referendum. Free our leader, Mazen Nam Dekano, he have committed no crime. Wherever Mazenandikan is, I pray that you go, Kevin, straighten and bless him. 
and his family. Thank you so much to IPOB United Kingdom that marched today and our leader wife was seen protesting, marching in the front line, leading the protest for the release of her husband. Thank you very much and remain blessed. I am once again your brother Mazel Obelezi Chukubi Kemesiano.